So uh, hard brakes, if I hit the brakes hard, it'll, it'll ding me. High speeds, if I go over 75. Your Nissan Xterra is 45% full. Your Nissan Altima does not... Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is the second in a three-part series on car tech. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the automatic, which is a really cool little device that you can plug into your car's onboard diagnostics port, also known as an OBD port, uh, which is basically in any vehicle that's 1996 and newer. So if you're running a vehicle that's at least in that range, uh, they should have this port. Uh, it's the port that if you take it to a mechanic, they'll plug into a computer, charge you $80 just to see what's matter with your car. So basically all they're doing is plug it into your car's computer and seeing what it's saying, you know, if your check engine lights on, whatever, that's going to be stored in that and that's how they tell uh, and look at it. And they also reset those engine lights through those because some of those alerts are just pre-programmed in when you hit a certain mileage or something. Uh, so you can take it into the dealer and pay that money and get the diagnostics done. Uh, but that's not all this automatic does, okay? This automatic is uh, definitely to help you improve your driving habits, to get better gas mileage and save money there. Uh, it's also protective because it will do some stuff in case of a car accident. Uh, it gives you the ability to not only know what's wrong with your car with the check engine light or the onboard diagnostic support, you can actually clear alerts so you don't have to take it into the dealership maybe if that little idiot light comes on for hey, you're due for a tune-up. So, and you don't want that check engine light on because then it kind of mars if you actually do have another alert that's valid besides that little tune-up alarm. Uh, you can look at that and you can clear it. Uh, and then also, this pairs with numerous cool services, okay? And we're gonna take a look at those. IFTTT, if this, then that. Um, so you can sign up with an account there and you can get some pretty cool uh, recipes that will blend with this so uh you know log my last trip to a spreadsheet every time you do that and then you just go to a spreadsheet on like google drive uh and uh you'll see like a chronological history of gps coordinates how many miles all that kind of stuff that you actually did so you can actually log your trips automatically just from that little triggering recipe thing so we'll look at that real quick also this will pair with the amazon echo now uh, automatic and Echo. So if you have an Amazon Echo, you can actually uh, go to Echo and ask Alexa that uh, how much gas my, how much gas do I have in my car? And so if you don't want to go out to your garage or to your parking area uh, and see what you know you've got for a trip, you can actually ask Alexa and she'll know because she actually looks at the automatic and will say, hey, you got like a quarter of a tank. So we'll look at that too. Pretty cool stuff. So quick look at the box here and by the way this is really cool packaging from Automatic because after you've got this unboxed this is actually a cup that you can take like for ice water or whatever you want in this. Uh, so it's a reusable packaging device and we'll uh, we'll reuse it. Take it out, wash it up and uh, put some ice water in it and I'll show you. So it's very clever of them to actually um, use that technique so you can reuse the packaging that just came in. It's not going to land up in a landfill or anything like that. Uh, very neat. So as you can see here, everything I've talked about, drive smarter, save hundreds of dollars gas, improve your driving habits with fuel economy. Uh, remember where you parked. I didn't mention that, but this actually will uh, let you know where you're parked at. Uh, let's see, drive safer, get help in an accident with car crash response. So this will actually pair to your phone and detect if you've been in an accident and dial 911 or alert somebody that you've been into an accident. Very cool. Decode and clear your check engine light. I already talked about. Coach. Uh, coach your team to safe driving. Got a new driver in the family. This will actually help them learn to drive a little more efficiently. Uh, reduce those hard stops. It'll ding you when you try to stop too hard. It'll ding you if you like gas it and gun it to get it off of a, uh, a traffic light or something like that. Uh, so very cool stuff. This does have an Android and iOS app. Uh, so you will install that. It is free. There are no subscription fees to this, so you do not pay this. Once you buy this device, you own this device and you own all these features for free. Okay, there's very, very key stuff here. These do not require any kind of service contracts or any other uh, things like that. Uh, they do have a one year warranty on this device, so uh, if anything happens to go wrong with it, uh, in the year that you purchased it, they will uh, replace it. Uh, and again, it, it does do GPS, so it will track your not only your whole trip, but your waypoints along the way uh, with this interactive web dashboard. Uh, it says explore patterns in your driving uh, data to better understand and optimize how you drive. So 
Uh, very cool stuff. We're going to go ahead and open this up. We're going to go ahead and take it out to the vehicle, plug it in. Then we're going to look at the IFTT integration. We're going to look at the Amazon Echo integration and test this out and kind of see what kind of data you get by looking at the app and all that good stuff. So anyway, let's go ahead and pause the video. We'll get this all set up and we will be back to take a look at some of its features that it has. It's very cool. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. So I'm actually in my wife's car and uh, installing the automatic uh, in the car. So uh, what I just did was actually plug it in and uh, it's actually down here at my feet. I'll actually, uh, when I got some room and a little light, I'll go down there and show you where I plugged it into. I uh, did want to show you while it's updating the firmware. It's the first thing that I did notice was that there was a firmware update. Uh, I mentioned that the uh, packaging is a cup. Well, there you go. Uh, it's a reusable cup, so I've actually got some ice water in here. Uh, fits perfectly in the um, cup holder. Got a little lid for it. So, very cool that uh, this uh, packaging for this is not going to be sitting in a little landfill somewhere. That's pretty awesome. Now, I already have um, <clears throat> a uh, account with uh, automatic for my Xterra. So what I've done is I've set up my wife's car on my account. So now I've got two different vehicles that should be um, on the account. So you can see right there is my Xterra. So let's uh, come back here in a minute when the firmware is updated uh, with this new uh, automatic and uh, we'll see how it adds this vehicle to the app. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. So I have the car programmed in on my account. Uh, as you can see here, it's a Nissan Altima that it says, and it shows how much fuel is left, uh, which is pretty darn cool. And then you can see that's a little over half a tank. So if I actually come up to the dial and look, yep, a little over half a tank. So uh, we are definitely good to go there. You can see that the check engine light says there are no problems detected. Uh, and that is updated today, you know, when you can actually uh, see the uh, uh, time your car was uh, turned on and it had uh, communicated. You can look for nearby mechanics with the app, uh, and then if you click on this, it'll actually show you that you're currently driving, which I'm not, but, uh, you know, it knows that the car is running and that I'm about ready to embark on a trip, so it's about ready to do map data uh, GPS-wise and put this on a map. Uh, now, if I do come into here, uh, you can see there's where you can get the license plus. <clears throat> I got audio feedback on, so all the little things like going too fast. Uh, let's just go into the app there. So uh, hard brakes. If I hit the brakes hard, it'll it'll ding me. High speeds. If I go over 75, it'll ding me. Hard accelerations on. All that stuff is uh, programmed and good to go. So notifications uh, are turned on. So. Brief stops, so 15 minutes you can program it in. That'll be added to your route as like a waypoint. You can do trip tagging, which if you're in for business and you want to, um, you know, keep track of business trips and stuff, you can trip tag it there, and it'll keep business separate. Uh, crash alert is on, uh, so that's a very cool feature. It will detect a crash. Uh, it will actually uh, contact and upload GPS and information to Automatic. Uh, and uh, they also have emergency phone numbers that you will uh, uh, it'll send them that they can communicate to your loved ones that there has been an accident uh, I have two vehicles obviously on my account mine has a Nissan Xterra one and this is the Nissan Altima uh, so uh, that's really all there is to it now you do have some more information in here you can put in it uh, and checked in and um, you know not been able to uh, remember your tag and so you just launch the app and boom uh, you do have a uh, um, you know license plate number you can give them right out of the app so very cool stuff guys uh, and I'm going to show you some IFTT integration and then also with the Amazon Echo uh, integration there as well so uh, anyway guys so we'll be back to look at some of the uh, information that it has uh, built into it and go from there. We'll be right back. 
All right, guys, I did want to show you exactly where this is mounted at. So I got a little light down here so you can see. This is under the steering wheel, the driver's side. I just put it right in my onboard diagnostics port here. Uh, so that is basically somewhere under your steering wheel, you're going to find a little port that looks like uh, uh, exactly a match to the prongs and adapters on this. So I uh, just wanted to do that real quick to show you this is exactly where I mounted the automatic device. Out of sight, out of mind, out of way. Uh, but uh, collecting critical data for your drive in your car. Alexa, ask Automatic how much fuel I have left. Your Nissan Xterra is 45% full. Your Nissan Altima does not support reading fuel level. Alexa, ask Automatic how many miles I drove last week. You drove 140 miles over 5.9 hours last week. So that's pretty cool. Automatic with the Amazon Echo integration. There you go. Also guys, I mentioned earlier about IFTT. As you can see here, I have launched that app on my iPhone and you can see some of the recipes that I'm rocking on here. Uh, as you can see here, the top one log all of my trips to a Google spreadsheet. So that basically logs all your trips to a Google spreadsheet. Uh, and as you can see here, it says uh, the last one I completed was a 1.09 mile drive at 9.81 miles per gallon. And it gave me a fuel cost that is logged automatically to a spreadsheet on my Google Drive, as you can see with the little Google logo. Uh, same thing with the log all my trips. Uh, you can see that is what it is doing. It's fired off several times, log all my trips to a Google spreadsheet. So that was a 1.13. Uh, down here was a 6.78. So all that stuff uh, with the recipe is getting logged uh, to a spreadsheet. So that's kind of cool. If we come in here and we look at recipes, uh, you can see uh, add iOS reminder if your check engine light comes on. Uh, that's the one I'm rocking right now. So if I get a check engine light, uh, it'll ding me on my phone. So I'll get an iOS reminder uh, that that's on. So uh, Apple Watch here said, see automatic trip on Android Wear. I guess that's Android Wear, not Apple Watch. Uh, top app for iPhone gone free. Uh, I don't know what that one is, but uh, so there's a lot of different combinations. You know, here's like uh, log check engine light codes to Google Calendar. So you'd actually know when your check engine light came on because it would be on your Google Calendar. Um, text me a map of where I parked each time I finish a trip. Uh, log all of my trips to Google Spreadsheet, obviously one I'm using. So if I wanted to turn that recipe on, uh, text me a map where I parked each time I finish a trip, I would just turn that on and then every time I parked, I would get a little map text uh, link uh, via my GPS coordinates. So a lot of different cool things you can do with this, again with the IFTT integration. Uh, this will allow Automatic to work with your other devices, um, much like we just did with the Amazon Echo, uh, and uh, have that uh, give you that information through that. So, awesome little device, guys. If you uh, like this video, please give me a like, a subscribe to the channel, and always, guys, thanks for watching, and have a good one.